Hey, what's going on, foul players? So we've talked a little bit about uh, where you want to put an impoundment and kind of some wise things to consider. Why am I choosing this spot? Why am I choosing this management style? And we've also talked uh, a little bit about moist soil habitat management, how you can use that to attract ducks. Now we're going to, in the next couple of segments, I'm going to break it up uh, and talk about one plant in each segment. But now let's talk about some of the cultivated crops. So let's just kick it off with probably one of the most popular one that people think of when they think about planting something for ducks, and that's corn. We all know that, that you can do well shooting over corn. People hunt over flooded corn fields, lots of impoundments will plant corn. Uh, for ducks, and it, it, it can produce. There's just no secret to that. It can produce. Um, there's some pros and some cons, and we'll talk about that with all the plants, but with corn specifically, one of, the pro, one of the pros is when you don't harvest it, and if we're specifically planning for duck hunting, we're not going to harvest, but if you don't harvest it, it produces a lot of food for ducks. Uh, the, the numbers that I see are 20, a little over 25, about 25 and a half thousand duck use days for an acre of corn. So what's a duck use day? Basically it's a an estimate of carrying capacity, how much uh, food is available on the landscape for waterfowl, uh, and one duck use day is kind of what it sounds like. It's like man hours, right? One duck use day is there's enough food on this habitat right here behind me to feed one duck for one day, right? So if you think about it, if you got 25,000 duck use days from an acre of corn, that's a lot of food to feed a lot of ducks, right? And most of the time, if you're planting corn, you're not just planting an acre. You're probably planting a lot more. Uh, and, and that can be broken up, right? If you have 1,000 duck use days, it feeds one duck uh, for 1,000 days or 1,000 ducks for one day, right? It works like that. So corn, very high producer. Uh, no doubt about it that it produces a lot of food. It's high in carbohydrates, so uh, when it's cold, if you get a heavy cold snap, uh, ducks may hit that pretty hard, knowing that you have it. But I think it comes with some significant downsides as well. For one, as a friend of mine put it the other day, corn is needy. It really needs a lot of help to grow well, right? It's, I mean, all of the varieties that we have available to us now have been massaged by, you know, selective breeding or, or who knows what over the years, centuries really. And it's really kind of become uh, a little fragile, right, compared to some other plants. It, it needs a pretty well-drained soil, but then it needs water. It's probably not going to grow in this swampy area behind me very well. It really can't tolerate much flooding, some, but not a lot. Uh, it certainly can't be overtopped. If it gets overtopped, it's going to die. Um, and if it does take a shallow flood, it needs to get off of there quick. Um, it's pretty dependent on keeping all the other vegetation out if you, you know, want it to do well. Um, so, you know, most of the time when you're planting corn, you're investing hundreds of dollars, if not more, into herbicides. Um, it needs a lot of fertilizer, right? It probably isn't going to grow very well unless you help it out like that. So, like my buddy Juan said, uh, it's very needy, and I think that's a, a, a great description of corn. It can produce a lot of duck food but it's gonna require more effort on you. While you can broadcast it, I've seen that done and people claim they can have good success. Most of the time, you're gonna to have to put it in rows. And unless you wanna be out there with a hoe or maybe one of those little walk behind cedars you can pick up at, at you know Tractor Supply or Farm and Fleet or wherever for about a hundred bucks, that's a little roll walk behind cedar. You know, if you're planting a large acreage, uh, five or more acres of corn, you're going to need machinery to do so. You're going to need a planter and they're expensive. So corn is needy, it can be expensive, but it can produce a lot of food. So that's something to think about. I mean, I may experiment with it here. Uh, I may get some of the dwarf corn, which they say doesn't have a high yield, but I want to give it a shot um, and, um, you know, just see what happens. Also, corn tends to take a long time to mature. Most varieties are about 120 days, even though there are some that are I think less than 80 days, that's a consideration as well. So just some things to think about. Um, maybe corn works for you, uh, maybe it doesn't. I'm not gonna do too much of it this year, but we'll see how it goes. So that's it, that's my two cents on planting corn to attract ducks.